Now, from the downtown of Northwest Arkansas, in Uptown Rogers, with weather from Bentonville to Fayetteville, Fort Smith and beyond, here's Oz Weather Meteorologist, Garrett Lewis. Well, good morning. It is uh, March 14th. We're under an enhanced risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Those will likely develop uh, some as early as mid-morning, early afternoon. But the strongest storms will be late afternoon into the evening. All severe weather hazards are possible today from large hail to damaging winds and even a few tornadoes. What I'm going to do is kind of walk you through the risk area and then take a look at uh, two sets of computer model data as well as look at the currents that are out there now. Uh, we'll look at the high-res data. We'll also look at some severe weather parameters here as we head into the afternoon. So what's happening right now? Well, right now it's not that bad. This is a look out over uh, Fort Smith uh, heading over the 540 bridge. You can see some low clouds that are out there being reflected off of uh, the city skylights that are there. Uh, grass turned a little bit greener, isn't it? We're heading into that spring season and uh, we will definitely have that spring spring severe weather moving into the afternoon and the evening okay so where are we well this is uh heading through the five what 20 somewhere in the middle of the morning 520 ish uh, 519 you can see showers and storms that are still ongoing out here across portions of Jefferson City back southwest now what's interesting about this is this is going to leave a boundary in the area and depending on where this boundary eventually winds up will dictate where some of the strongest storms form. In other words, the severe weather today is conditional on what happens this morning and into the afternoon. So those showers and storms are here. You can see a dry line setting up out across parts of Oklahoma. This is where the humid air is. That's a little bit drier. And this is the cold front and the low, which will eventually sweep east and end the storms later on this evening, probably uh, 10 o'clock at night, midnight, somewhere in there is where I'm thinking the front makes its way all the way through. Okay, so let's get to the risk. The Storm Prediction Center has increased a couple of parameters in our area. First, we're under an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. This is the first time our area has been under an enhanced risk so far in 2024. That includes everyone in um, northwest Arkansas, central Arkansas, portions of southwest central Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma. You get a feel for it, right? Well, let's look at the, the risk of where we're going to be looking at the, the chance of tornadoes today. So the chance of tornadoes is highest in this region, and that's typically from about Fort Smith to Fayetteville in northwest Arkansas, and then in west central Arkansas, Hot Springs over to Mena, central Arkansas, Conway up towards Batesville, and even the Mountain Home area. So we've got quite a bit in terms of uh, severe weather risk today from tornadoes and or uh, large hail. So I'm going to go to, over to the uh, high resolution rapid refresh model. The first thing I looked at this morning was the um, updraft helicity track. So the helicity and, and wind shear is essentially a change in wind speed and direction with height. So I'm looking at where these things are tracking. And uh, as we go through the morning hours, um, right now anyway, there's obviously no severe weather that's out there, but you can see in eastern Oklahoma, these start popping up as early as about one or two, you have a couple of areas that uh, to watch for um, updraft enhancement and uh, higher helicity values. Look here, though, uh, in, in west central Arkansas, out there around Scott County, we're looking at it, and then those track east and northeast. It's not a surefire bet. This is where the storms are going to be, but it does give us something to look at uh, in terms of where the severe weather could occur. Now, I'm going to look at instability next. This is the higher instability here. This is We call it CAPE. It's Convective Available potential energy and here's where we are now so cape is uh, 1500 or so the atmosphere is already a little bit unstable but as we go through noon today and i'm going to stop this uh this is 10 o'clock in the morning you can see it's already getting concentrated as far as the energy goes in eastern oklahoma and then stepping through time through about one o'clock this afternoon now we've got cape over 3000 that's pretty unstable that's a tendency for the air mass to rise very very quickly when that happens you get the hail and you get unfortunately some rotation as well moving through the evening you can see the Cape starts to get wiped out. That's because storms will be underway in the late afternoon and the evening hours. And then when the front comes through, it's going to wipe away all the instability. And we'll see those um, those chances of uh, severe weather start falling off pretty quickly here late this evening towards the overnight. Okay, so what's this thing look like? Let me back up here. Here's where we are now, right? So we saw those showers and storms. Let me flip it back over here. The, the showers and storms that are uh, ongoing out around... Um, uh, parts of central Arkansas, or sorry, central Missouri, moving northeast. Let's see if I can pull that back up. 
There we go. Got it punched up on the switcher. So we do have those showers and storms that are out there, and those are moving towards the east. And you see that on some of the model data, too. You can see it there in uh, southwest Missouri is kind of what I was driving at. Okay, so let's go through the uh, mid-morning and afternoon. That boundary starts to move south. And again, that boundary is the focal point for strong to severe storms. So you can already see some storms that are out there mid-morning, 9, 10 o'clock-ish, affecting northwest Arkansas. Some of these could even be severe by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Not the main show, though. The heavier one will be later on. You can see the storms developing. This is 1 p.m., in eastern Oklahoma, and then all of those start moving east by about three or four with heavy storms underway, moving into the late afternoon, evening hours. Heads up for the kids that walk home from school or perhaps ride the bus. There will be severe weather that's out there during that time. And then these storms continue into the evening before finally moving into central Arkansas by late evening. I'm going to stop the clock here at, uh, this is seven o'clock. So you can see the storms already moving towards the east. That window for severe weather is late afternoon and evening. Again, that's how they evolve as they move from the southwest towards the northeast with showers and storms possibly as early as this morning right in here uh, up through noon and then later on this afternoon and evening that severe weather threat increases quite a bit more. Go over to the uh, high-res data now on the uh, North American model so this is going to show us how this evolves with time. Um, we'll step through this and you can see uh, just like we did with the high-res data on the HRRR, the NAM also showing some of those showers and storms early mid-morning in west central Arkansas so we may even get Get some rain. Notice the, the North American model breaks it out a little farther south, closer to Fort Smith. Regardless, there will be some showers mid-morning, and some of those could be strong to severe. But here comes the main area of showers and storms later this evening. The NAM's a little slower on this. It puts it in closer to about 4, 5, and 6. But all the model data does show these showers and storms moving through. I want to point out, too, in the initial stages here, when these develop and they're isolated, that's when our tornado threat is highest. Once you get this uh, line that's going here, it's going to be a little tougher to get tornadoes. Um, it'll, we'll have more of a damaging wind risk as that bow moves through. And then the front makes its way through the area and actually clears the atmosphere out pretty good as we head into Friday and even into Saturday and Sunday. Um, so showers that are out there in uh, central Oklahoma by Saturday afternoon and evening will not be a factor for us. The big show is going to be these showers and storms, which move through the area later on today and uh, into the afternoon hours. So a lot going on as far as that goes. I'm going to keep an eye on the weather throughout the day. You can follow along. I'm going to do a severe weather post uh, on this, uh, look at some more data this morning, and then um, update that. And I'll, I'll put that on the uh, Oz Weather app. And uh, I'll put some live streaming links on there as well. So I'll change the app up a little bit today just to help you find some severe weather coverage. Um, I, I do plan on being live uh, later on this afternoon or this evening, depending on how this stuff plays out. So um, we'll be watching this. And I know all the other broadcast meteorologists that are in the area are going to be covering this as well. As it's a pretty widespread severe weather event for West Central Arkansas and for Eastern Oklahoma. So to recap, the risk of large hail is high today. The risk of tornadoes is there as well. It's strongest towards the afternoon and the evening, and the risk of damaging winds picks up later towards the end of the severe weather event when we have the uh, line of showers and storms, which starts to move on towards the east and eventually starts to move out of the area. So an active day for severe weather, have a way to get weather information, have multiple ways to get weather information. Don't just count on me. Don't just count on one of the other broadcast guys. Make sure and download several, uh, at least two different apps for it. Um, either a local television app, you can download the Oz Weather app, uh, the the, the, uh, the Weather Channel app. All of those are great for getting warnings and watches as they get pushed later on this afternoon. But it is going to be an active day. Stay weather aware. The entire area is under the threat for severe weather, and it does appear that the threat of severe weather has increase somewhat as compared to yesterday, including the tornado risk. Keep an eye on it today and uh, we'll get through it. And tomorrow looks a lot better. Have a good day.